calibration on this as far as the compass goes. So if you hit N, that's navigate. So we're doing at 200, let this thing find its course. And I'm gonna go up on the speed a little bit more because of the current. You can, I can feel it working. And then I'm gonna turn off the main. Now we're at 146, so we just let it simmer down. We're at 1.43 on the speed. 139, 138. So it's going to be about 137, 138, 139 is where it's going to end up on the course right here. And speed is 168. And this will say Ann up here for navigate. There's 139, it's going back to that. Your speed's starting to drop. It's going to try to find the best position to take less battery power. So sometimes it may be going this way, sometimes it may be going this way, or this, or backwards this way. It tries to save on your battery. So 14139, so we're within a degree. 163, 166, 168. So I'm going to let it just do its thing. So we're holding the course, 17, that's fine, 141. Bring it up to 10. 1 to 77, 180. Now that should go back to about 140. Yep. There you go, 139, that's perfect. Okay, so now, this was on navigate. So now, if you want to kick that off, kick that off. Now we're just on steer. But now if I want to spot lock this, I just hit this one right here with the anchor on it, and it does the rest. So then you can just put this thing down. Now these numbers, again, you wait. They're gonna change, it's trying to find the current. The speed, we're down to 0 0.26, 32. 147, it's searching. So now you can feel the prop it is going way down. Uh, we're down to 0 0.50 on speed, 49304. Everybody told this Biden administration. 303, 302. So that's perfect. 0.52. Now there it goes. So this is on a spot lock. 0 .0, 0. We're doing 0 miles an hour at 302. And that's where it wants to stay right there. So it's holding your heading and your speed. So we're dead stop. Pretty cool, huh? 0, 302. So that's working great. So to get it off, you, you can just hit uh, stow if you want, but I typically will kick it off that way. Now, to get that thing up again, one is two presses to go down, one press of this circle to go up. See, I just tapped it once. There we go, and then it's gonna go down. And uh, you got this here too. You can put the carabiner, you can undo that right here and just re-clip it to that and then hang it on your belt or use this see how it deployed that back down again now the ramp saver this ain't really you know gonna shake too much so i'd say if you were leaving that dock and you came over here and you were gonna do some fishing at the dock i'd probably turn that thing on and release that ramp saver is what i would do okay so then to come up here Then all you do is you take this here and then you put it up, but you want to make sure you release that. I got a bad, ah, oh, there you go. And clip that. Then you go up here and you just turn this off. Just like that. And then you're done. So again, if you're gonna start it up, turn that on, release that. Then go on and turn on your unit. You're good to go. So, and again, I think I did go through all this. Went through your gauge, that looked good. I'm gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna fire that up and put it in gear. Then, to turn this off, you just hit this check mark, hold it until you see shutdown, and just release it. And you're good to go. And then I'm just gonna see something here on the CL5. And then afterwards, I'm going to check a couple more things real quick. Because I don't want to waste a lot of time on the video. Because we're up to 16 minutes right now. Uh, trim, yeah, everything's cool. All right, this is the Boat Doctor. 21.
2250. I'm sorry, I could have said 2150, but it's a 2250 uh, center cab. Beautiful boat, set up perfect. It's perfect with the gate, perfect with the electronics. You can do an overkill action sometimes. This is set up in Garmin. They're really good units, they're bulletproof. So, this is your boat doctor. Now, to hear it.